Hey family, Naisha on with the word and Holy Spirit have your way in Jesus name for you are welcome in this place. Amen. 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 Mm, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in Jesus name. Y'all, so I was having this conversation with my mom, right? I'm going to honor her real quick, right? My mom, she is, you know, a very proud parent. You know, she is proud of her children. My mom has always um, been a hardworking woman for, for her children. And um, my parents, they are married, but I'm just honoring my mom right now. And, you know, she's, you know, always just been there, you know, for her children, you know, in every capacity that she was able, right? So big ups to my mom, right? Glory be to God. So I'm going to start off with some scripture because, you know, this is a ministry. Um, glory. So in the word, it says that no one who loves father or mother more is more than me is worthy of me. We were having this conversation, right? And she was talking to someone that we knew um of the past right and she showed them a photograph of me needless to say the person they still didn't remember who i was right okay so as i'm just sitting here and i'm pondering about this you know i really felt the the holy spirit lead me into recording this video because there are a lot of people that um are subject to this and they are also under this but uh the woman that you see pictured here is not the woman that I am today. This is like a go-to picture for my mom when she shows, you know, people her child, her daughter, right? And I just had to um, just let it be known, like, mom, uh, I don't feel comfortable with you showing that photo to people for that woman that's in that picture isn't who the one isn't the woman that I am say my mom she's a proud parent she's a proud mother therefore she you know she talks about her children she's referenced me she always speaks about you know um the ministry of you know giving butterflies the ministry of my life right and she always tells people you know basically like her child is on fire for God and I'm gonna take my mother out and I'm gonna just just leave it a blank feel right so they say oh th this person is this they're that boom boom so the person that they're telling this to they're painting this picture of you and they're like okay so then when you show them the picture they're like well that's 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 not who i had in mind and understand this the word says man looks on the outward appearance but god judges the heart i'm gonna be transparent about this photograph i'm not really one um, for photographs as far as like um you know showing people strangers so to speak photographs of myself photographs of my family they said picture is a thousand words right and the woman in this picture is not naisha today for this picture is almost for starters three years old okay and then let's also be a little bit more transparent. The woman in this photograph, although at this point in time, I was already in the word, right? I was um, building that relationship with Christ. However, you, you have to understand initially when you start off with your relationship with Christ, you still have tendencies about you because he's calling you, right? In this photo, I'm probably about 22, 20 years of conditioning that the Lord was working on me in, right? So when you first come to Christ, you still have the ways of the world in you. That's the beautiful thing about Christ. It's like, it's a purification process. Though there were things I let go at this point in the video, but there were definitely things that were still a part of my life that are basically foreign to me now, like smoking, like um, fornicating. Although I was reading my word, I still had ways of the world in me. What I was getting at is like when my mom, like she'll, you know, talk about me, you know, very, you know, proudly as she is. And she'll show them this photograph. Now understand, we don't, we're not here to live up to a person's ideology of you, right? But it's something, the Bible says that we're surrounded by such a crowd, a cloud of witnesses, 
you know, so therefore we got to walk a certain way. So when you speak godly about me, you know, and the, the God in me, but you show them basically a worldly photo of me, it's like they, they lose whether they realize it or not. The person, they lose an ear to what I got to say because they can't unsee the lady in the pink dress showing her backside with the hair going down her back with a mean mug on her face. There is a look that go with being a follower of Christ, especially if you profess it on such a platform as YouTube where literally anybody can gain access to you because, you know, it's a public platform. So you have people all over the world you know, that can tune in to your ministry. And when you're surrounded by this cloud of witnesses, they're looking at you basically as like an example of what it means to be godly. And I'm here to say my, out of my own mouth, that woman wasn't godly. Again, let me reiterate the fact. I was reading my word. I was praying, right? But I still had the ways of the world in me. And, and this is another thing too. When you show people photographs of someone, it's like you're already giving that person, you know, a first impression. You're not allowing that person to give um, a first impression. Because now, now their first impression is the woman in the pink dress. So when I show up as this woman, without the hair, without the pink dress, without the backside photos, they kind of confused. Now they don't know like, okay, am I confused or is she confused? Because what she says out her mouth don't align with what she wear. And they don't have no idea that the photo is old. They don't have no idea that the photo is of, of a person that, you know, was going through the cleansing. And I'm, I understand this. The cleansing is forever. Forever meaning as long as you're on this earth. You're, you're going to continue. So it's not like you arrive and be like, okay, I'm purified, I'm clean, I'm good, boom, let's go. No, you got to continually be cleansed and purified, right? It's a continual process. This is me at the baby level of my walk. So when you're speaking about the mature level of my walk with Christ, but you're showing them baby level photos, and understand this word, it goes beyond just for my mom, because we are. I had the conversation with my mom. But I didn't go into further detail how I am on this video. So even then when she sees this, I pray to God that she gets the understanding. What you say have to match the person. I have nothing against people that choose to do that. I mean, obviously, look, I used to do that. But what I would say is this, when you put your hand on the plow and the Lord starts purifying you from certain things, right? i.e. like me with the hair, me with the, the, the poses, me with the way of life. I put my hand to this plow. Therefore, as I'm moving forward, he's clearing the path for me. And in clearing that path for me, he's, he's clearing me. The Bible says that beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. When you're speaking of a godly person and you're showing them a secular photo, they don't want to hear what I got to say. If I'm speaking this message to them, it looks like, oh, I don't got to change anything. I was going to keep this conversation between me and my mom, but it had to be addressed because my life is on display. I, but I signed up. I signed up for this. Understand, I'm not I'm not bagging down from what I signed. I signed up for my life to be on display. But at the same time, um, there's a way. There's a, a, a certain way the Lord is painting my life. Therefore, you can't speak about you know, the person that you see right here on this camera, but I continue to show you photos of me and practices that I shouldn't have been in in the first place. Now, I'm not against photographs, but you got to feel, you got to feel this presence. Like, like yes, a, a photo can say a thousand words. Sometimes it's, it can say all the wrong things. That To me, this photo says all the wrong things about me. And that's because I know the person spiritually in their, their photo. They that love father and mother more than me are not worthy of me. I ask, you know, my mom out of respect. I understand because I know thy father and mother. Therefore, you don't come disrespectful to your parents, even if it's something that you feel strongly about. I feel very strongly about this, but that doesn't give me a right 
Just and I can put Jesus name. Well, Jesus said there's still a way of doing things, but out of respect, I'm not comfortable with that. That's not me. And I ask of that. So if you have somebody, if you're telling them this, but yet, listen to this. I'm 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 finna get real deep, but yet they continually do that because they feel like, well, I just, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just and they disregarding what you're saying. Reevaluate their relationship. And th and listen, this goes beyond. That's why I feel like the Lord. And I, not I feel, because feeling is in the flesh, okay? That's why I know that the Lord was calling me to get on and record this because this word is so much deeper. It's about, you know, if you're voicing something, the Bible says that if you love me, keep my commandments, right? So a person that says they love Jesus Christ, okay, you love Jesus Christ, now I'm going to watch the fruit of your life. Because Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments, mean you're going to be obedient to what I say. Obedience isn't just, you know, exclusive to like um, a, a parent and a child, you know, um, a, a supervisor and a worker. It's not just exclusive to that. It's exclusive to if you respect me. Because love, love, this word, we use it so loosely. But this word love, it covers, it says it covers a multitude of sins. Love covers a multitude of sins. But it covers so many other meanings than just what the world displays love as to be. Right? So, if you respect me, you wouldn't do this. Just like Jesus said. If you love me, you will obey what I say. You will listen to me. Just like in a relationship. Any kind of relationship. He doesn't feel comfortable. She doesn't feel comfortable. You're going to try your best to avoid that. And if you slip up, you expect them to give you grace, but you don't, you don't want to continue to slip up in the name of love. Because what a singer songwriter once said, what love got to do with it. If the respect ain't that. So the Bible also says, don't let people disregard you. Don't be turning the other cheek to the wrong things. Glory be to God. And I'm just a messenger.